Uh, my name is Paul Farbrace. I'm director of cricket at Warwickshire County Cricket Club. So, Smethwick Cricket Club, fantastic. The, uh, the, the amount of young cricketers here hoping to impress, hoping to be selected to go to Pakistan and obviously join a fantastic setup. Um, it is brilliant to see all ages, lots of skills, some fantastic heroes of the Pakistan game here as well. What a fantastic opportunity for these young players. The, the, these sorts of events are brilliant for every cricketer to be involved with. But to come here, bring some fantastic household names from Pakistan, opportunity to go to Pakistan and play cricket, play international cricket, to learn, to develop as young people, to develop as people as much as the cricketers. It's just a brilliant opportunity for them. And why wouldn't you come and join in? You know, it, it's fantastic. What is there, six, seven centres across the UK um, on this trip, moving on to Europe, America, Canada, to actually be able to spread the game, spread the word of the game and how good the game of cricket is for everybody to be part of. And the passion for the game, you can see here today that it's absolutely brilliant. Well, for Smethwick Cricket Club, it's fantastic because, you know, it, it really, hopefully it attracts not only players to come and be part of this brilliant day, but also it attracts players to come here and play at this club. But from our point of view, from Warwickshire County Cricket Club's point of view, the idea of the partnership, working together with Peshawar, working together with some of the great names, Mohamed Akram, we met last week, we had a fantastic meeting with, we're looking to develop a really strong link, which hopefully will be player exchange, coach exchange, teams playing against one another in exhibition games, academies working together. And, and that's one of the great things about the game of cricket. It brings people together. And it doesn't matter where you're from, the opportunity to come together, to learn from one another, to learn from different ways of playing, different thinking about how to play the game. It's just such a great opportunity. And that's what we're excited about as a county club. We want to be part of this and we hope that we can work together and build a brilliant relationship. Well, I, I've been very fortunate to travel to Pakistan. So I, I've been to Pakistan a few times with international cricket. The, the, the passion for the game in Pakistan is absolutely immense. And you know, all, all of these players here today are very passionate about the game of cricket. So the more the game can be spread across the world, the more exchanges we have between, you know, hopefully between England and Pakistan, for players to go both ways, to learn how to play in different conditions, because the conditions are different. You've got to be unbelievably skillful to bowl in Pakistan. If you just bowl gun barrel straight, you're going to be score lots of runs against you. If you can swing the ball, spin the ball, if you've got skill, it's a brilliant way to learn to bowl. So for me, English cricketers being able to go to Pakistan and learn to play the game, fantastic. So the link between the two countries opens up so many opportunities for these young players. Well, we, we, we've started conversations, obviously, between us as a county club and between the mighty team. So we're, we're very keen to make sure that we, we can build a link. Now, in, in the first instance, it will be a case of can we exchange coaches? Can we exchange players? Can we talk about the possibility of playing games? But then we're looking, hopefully, that we could take our county club out to Peshawar and play. Um, the team can come here and play in England. Again, it's a learning opportunity, but it's a growth opportunity to, to actually spread the word about this great game of cricket. And, and there's nothing better for bringing people together than sport. So if we've got two fantastic teams, two fantastic setups working together, everybody involved will benefit from that. So it's a, a slow process probably to start with, but it will be something that I think will gather pace quite quickly and hopefully we can keep developing it over the next few years. You're in the Robins, but I'm going to be selected here. The, the players that are not selected to go to Pakistan and be part of the next stage, that the inspiration they will get from this will be fantastic. So, and that's what it's about. It's about inspiring people. It's about creating dreams and having a dream. And if, if any of these young players stop dreaming and stop thinking about having a career or being the best they can be as a cricketer, that, that's really sad. And, and not all of them are going to be international cricketers, but if they end up playing here at Smethwick, if they end up playing in league cricket and other leagues around the country and, and get opportunities to play with people who do go on and be fantastic cricketers. I mean, how are you not going to remember being here today? You know, some of the greats of the game from Pakistan are here and part of it. So what, why would you not be excited by that? And why would you not be motivated to carry on playing the game? So th th these sorts of opportunities create dreams, don't they? And that's what, we, we all have dreams. We all, we all have ideas of where we want to get to. 
and these are the sorts of motivational days that will inspire a lot of people and they will go away and tell people about their great day and that will inspire other people so you know, hopefully if this continues to gather momentum and build next year there'll be double the amount of people here which is it can only be a great thing if you want if you have any thoughts about being inspired and want to be part of the great game of cricket th this is a great opportunity for you to come to so if this is going to happen next year and and you think actually i wonder if i'm good enough have no doubts come along and give yourself a chance because if you don't have a go you'll regret it and it's better to regret doing something and giving something a go rather than actually thinking oh i'm not sure because th there's a lot of players at the highest level of sport that have self-doubts even some of the greats have self-doubts because at the end of the day they're human beings and so everybody has self-doubts. Everyone wonders, I wonder if I'm good enough. You know, you could ask any of them, Mohamed Akram played international cricket. Did you have self-doubts someday? I bet he did. And, and any of the great players, in Zaman, did you have doubts? Of course he would have done. But it's about overcoming them. And it's about using sport to overcome perhaps a lack of confidence, perhaps a little bit of shyness. And, and you can use that in your everyday life. So it's just a brilliant opportunity to, to put yourself out there. Come out of your comfort zone and see what you can achieve. OK, look, if you've got any doubt about coming along and being part of this fantastic opportunity, have no doubts about it, because it, it's, a, it's a great way to test yourself. Whether you think you're good enough or not, it's not about your skill level, it's about your attitude, it's about your desire. And those people that get to the top level, Inzaman, Mohammed, um, Saqib, who's here as well today, th those people, they might not have the greatest level of skill, but they've got a desire, they've got a passion that drives them on, and everybody's got that. So why not come and see if your passion, your desire and your drive gets you to the next stage? Why would you not come and join in? Fantastic opportunity.